What's going on, everybody? My name is LJ Bowens, and you are here at Gallery Talks at the wonderful Arts Council. Describing myself, I'm a spoken word artist. I'm very bubbly, very nerdy, as people would say. One of the biggest things I always love to do is research everything that I look into, because when we're speaking things into existence, we gotta make sure those things actually have facts to those things. The project that I'm bringing here at the gallery is a project known as Talking Black in America Roots, which is a project in the third of a series of a docu-series known as Talking Black in America. The impact I'm looking to make with this particular project is that all cultures come in, especially the black culture, so they can see everything that has come from the history of Africans coming over to this country. One of the biggest things about Talking Black in America in the series itself is that it explains everything that's happened in the African diaspora and how it translates to here. Because when we're thinking about talking black in America, we kind of stigmatize it as you're talking black, but any language is the American language. You can't sit here and say that the English language is the American language because America's always been the melted pot, but we all know that when the black culture came here, it literally created a lot of the things that we see now. Whether it comes to vernacular, whether it comes to culture, that's everything that we have brought to this country. So the impact that this project will bring is definitely going to bring a better appreciation and understanding, especially when it talks about the roots of how all these things started, how it migrated here. Black culture means culture. The way I speak, the way I talk, the way I dress, it is everything that I've been engulfed in. I've been born into this by birthright. So I feel that with culture, it's one of the things that I look to when it comes to creating. It's one of the things that's, I like, I like how they say it's often duplicated, but it's, it's, not, it's not authentic. So you see a lot of things that's going on now when it comes to music, where it comes to style of dress, when it comes to even the way people present themselves now, it's all based on the culture that we established here. You can even look back at a time where people said that hip hop was not gonna be one of those things, but yet hip hop is not the biggest music art form in this world because everybody has embraced that. So black culture is culture, it is the culture. And I've always stood by that, I've always been proud of that because we've always been trendsetters, we've always been trailblazers. And everything that a lot of people do now is basically based on the things that we did before they even came. Life, life, life. I mean, I can't really dig too much to it. I know life is such a, it sounds like a word is just basic, but when I say life, it's the experience of everything that comes with it. Whether it be when I wake up in the morning, how I feel, if I gotta go use the bathroom, if I'm looking at TV and I see another person that's been slain, based on police brutality or anything that's going on with politics. If I'm going to my job, working with kids, and I see how kids are reacting, it's life. I think life has always been one of the best experiences, always one of the best educators and teachers because you learn so much from it, whether good or bad. So life has always been one of the things that's been very instrumental to me and how I create everything around me, whether it be poetry, whether it be an event, it's everything that encompasses me on a 24-hour basis, 365, days out of the year.